Okay, guys, I'm not an expert with this, but I understood like, a few things just to work out the uh, the methods and the classifiers. So the first configuration that Granny had in the previous video was this one. You go into choose, then you go to uh, the filter classifier. So it was a filter classifier. Then you open the configurations and he was using a naive base classifier. Okay, but he was using a few filters, so you have to be careful here. For the filters, he was using the next one. So he was using a multi-filter, because he was using a couple of filters. So you click on multi-filter, then this thing opens, and then you find the filters here. So here you have to choose your filters. So the first one that he was using was a supervised attribute. It was an attribute selection filter. And then that's it for now. So you have, oh, it wasn't selected. I'm gonna do it again. It was this one attribute selection then you, you have to add it i'm gonna delete this thing now that you have it the configurations for for this one for the attribute selection were gain ratio and the ranker that's an, the evaluator and the search that's what he was using and he added another filter, so you go to choose, and it was an unsupervised filter, it was the remove. In order to remove some instances, sorry, some attributes, you go to the remove, you add it. Then for this one, you have to pick a special uh, setup attributes that you want to delete so when you're working with this other uh, attribute selection you're actually not deleting the attributes that you'll be typing down right now but that's what he was doing so he selected from 40 to attribute number attribute index 85 and then you already have it, so it's, it's ready. This one it's ready. Then you can run it. So we got a rock of point sixty four. Let's see what's going on. Good. So one thing you have to be very careful with is take a look here the rock area. We got a lower one from the one he got on the video. You can see in the video he got this other one. I have it open in a, another web explorer. He got this one, 0.758. Going back to the first worker that we practicing with we have this very small rock area you have to be very careful as I was saying because you have this option here in the multi filter you go to the filters again so you have this this filters the order of this two it's really important you can move it up this one you can move it down or up so this is the order of the filters now this is saying that the attribute selection will be first and then they remove or we could do it the other way around last time i just did it the other way around that's why we got the small number for the rock area now i just change it so the remove is the second one 
So now we're going to run it like that. If we run it like that, now we're getting a better rock. The rock area. So the order is very important with these filters. Good. So the other thing you do was the cost sensitive. The cost sensitive classifier. In order to do that, first of all, we're going to copy this configuration because we did a lot of things. So you can right click and copy the configuration to clipboard. Just as hit it on the previous video. And then we can choose the cost sensitive classifier. So here in the cost sensitive classifier, for the classifier, we could actually use our previous configuration. In order to paste our previous configuration, we just have to right click here, enter configuration, paste, and it should be ready now. Sorry about it. Okay, so this is how you actually do it. You copy this configuration. I'm doing the whole thing again. And then you choose the cost sensitive classifier. Here you have to have the two by two matrix. Now you can right click and enter the configuration. You paste the previous one that you just had. And now it is ready. So you can run it just how we did in the previous video. And now you can start playing with the cost matrix. So let's increase this cost to and see if there is any change. We have some improvement now that we have increased the cost. And that's it. Good luck with the project.